Mm -hmm. It's uh, late. It's 6.40. On July 1st, it is 60 degrees out. Supposed to be warmer today. <clears throat> a bunch of morning doves or something over there. What's going over there? A bird convention? Morning doves. <clears throat> Had a good day yesterday. We uh, were invited to a uh, a barbecue over at uh, Kevin and Cheryl's place. They have a camp right on the water, Bottle Lake, and uh, really, really nice place. Uh, the breeze of the water just blowing right through the camp. Uh, very, very few bugs. We only had a couple mosquitoes that were sitting outside on, uh, on a table, table and chairs. Uh, we had uh, some hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, some fruit, and then uh, Kevin and Cheryl took us out on their uh, pontoon boat. Took a trip all around Bod Lake. <clears throat> Flynn got on the boat with a little help from Kevin and uh, he enjoyed it. We were out oh, about 10 minutes and a uh, ranger pulled up on his boat Wanted to check life preservers and uh, registration. Unfortunately, they uh, had left, Kevin and Cheryl had left the registration stickers on their microwave in the house. But the guy was nice and let us go. <clears throat> young, young man, uh, probably in his 30s. <clears throat> Very professional. He was uh, probably a 14 foot boat with a, an old, I think it was an Evinrude motor from 1956. He got it at a garage sale for five bucks. The guy told him it didn't run, but he bought it anyway. Took it to his uh, his place, worked out a little bit, got it running, and it pulls on the first start. So he's happy. A little seven horsepower out of the road. With the uh, Overcast we've got here, Flynn made one lackluster attempt at getting me up this morning. That's why it's so late. <clears throat> he tried once and then went to the other side of the room and he went, put his head underneath the bed. <clears throat> I, had to, uh, I had to drag him out to go out for a walk. <clears throat> Just as we were heading over to uh, Kevin and Cheryl's, our friends up the road here, they've got company up. They asked to send me a text asking if I had a uh, ATV trail map, and I didn't see the text until I got back to the house. I ran a, uh, I had a map in the back of the ATV, 
ran it over to, uh, to Rick. He's got the Midas company. They've got a uh, <clears throat> two-wheel drive ATV that uh, goes way too fast. <clears throat> They've got an over-the-top Can-Am Maverick, Maverick X, I think, that uh, has a lot of accessories on it. <clears throat> Little 90cc ATV. And there's two other uh, two other machines. I think those people come up today or tomorrow. So they had a good ride yesterday. Unfortunately, the roads they went on create huge amounts of dust. So the uh, very expensive Can-Am was co covered outside and inside with, uh, with dust. <clears throat> well, they're probably going out again today. <clears throat> well, I don't know what I'm doing today. Cheryl and Kevin's got a bunch of people going over to the house on the 4th. They said if we're in the area, we can stop in. So we might be heading back there on the 4th. <clears throat> now we're down in mosquito territory. Lynn. Lake is, is a good sized lake. And as we run around the whole thing, uh, Kevin and Cheryl knew <clears throat> pretty much who owned every camp. As a matter of fact, Kevin was saying when he was in high school, uh, <clears throat> he built a couple of camps on the, uh, I guess, the southeast side of it. There were no roads, so they They'd load up a uh, couple of floating things, get my recall them, and they would float their uh, building material over. The, uh, there was another couple that we'd met before, Darcy and Wally. They were at the uh, barbecue. They also came on the boat ride. They have a camp across from Kevin and uh, Cheryl, not on the water, but they walk right down. <clears throat> they spend a lot of time, I don't know how big their boat is, but they spend a lot of time cruising around <clears throat> the Atlantic Ocean or uh, on rivers. Darcy's father has been involved with the lake since he was born in 1952. <clears throat> and uh, I think she said that he set up the lots, giving them 150 feet of 
lake frontage. So, I was surprised that the, uh, the house, the camps on the lake are, uh, less than a stone's throw from the water. There's a, uh, main cabin master's uh, program on some channel that says you have to be 150 feet back or something. It's probably for new camps. I think if you're uh, grandfathered in, you can be close. Don't build anything new. Has to be 150 feet back so you don't see the house in the water. <clears throat> as we were driving, as we were driving uh, or riding around the lake, we were, uh, were, Cheryl or Kevin were yelling out, or saying, who cool, was each camp. And, there's that a bunch of guys I know from the uh, Snowville Club. Danny, Kurt, Bob, Jimmy White. All have camps down there. So where are we going? Camp. Their camp had all the comforts of home. I mean, the indoor plumbing, well water, septic, uh, shower, no air conditioning. Don't need it down there. They, uh, they have a dock with the pontoon boat on one side and a uh, ski do. They call it a wet jet. Come on, buddy, let's go back to the house. Come. Come on, we're not going down there. <clears throat> they got two uh, ski doos. He's also got a, uh, a boathouse that he says has seven boats in it. Boats could be anything from a kayak to a canoe. So it turns out the camp. Come here, Clint, come here. Got mosquitoes biting his nose. Come on. The camp had been his, his dad's. And when uh, his parents passed, he bought the camp. <clears throat> Did a really, really nice job picking it up. <clears throat> I don't know how many six by six uh, pressure treated supports he has underneath on circular pads. It has to be two dozen. That thing ain't going anywhere. Put you on. Oh. <laughs> well, that little bunny just scared the crap out of Flynn. And unfortunately, Flynn. This leash probably gonna leave a mark on my leg. <laughs> Come on, buddy. That was new. <clears throat> Ow. Juven juvenile rabbit, juvenile hair.
Все, отъем. He's got to take care of business. You're probably in that perfect spot. Or else he's trying to fake me out to get back up to the bunny rabbit. Come on, let's go. You're not doing that. <clears throat> Deposit. Then we're gonna hightail it back to the house because the mosquitoes are uh, aggressive. <clears throat> we were uh, the barbecue yesterday was starting around. 11 o'clock, so uh, I put together two batches of rolls and brought, uh, I guess, eight or ten down there and kept eight or ten for home. <clears throat> Experimented with uh, four or five of them, putting sesame seed toppings on them, you know, the McDonald's two what does it say? To all be patty special. To all be patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, onions on a sesame seed bun. So I tried doing sesame seed buns, and uh, they were good. I'll do them again. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I think the ten we brought down there, the first two that were going to go were the sesame seeds. <laughs> I think. Um, if you go back on uh, the fourth to uh, their camp, I said it would make uh, soft pretzels. <clears throat> to look at the recipe on soft pretzels. Make sure I get all the uh, ingredients. I know I get enough flour. I've got probably 40 pounds of flour. Uh, 
king. I have no idea what the weather's going to be like today. I'm sure I mean Friday, 1st of July on the long weekend. There's going to be some traffic on the road here with ATV side-by-sides or just regular vehicular traffic. For right now, the traffic report for this morning is good. No congestion. No vehicles broken down. And no construction. So there's no detours. <clears throat> I didn't check my text messages this morning. I don't know whether Kevin, Kevin White is coming up. So I doubt it. Ow. I never got down to get that Pepsi can yesterday. Walking up the hill. Well, it'd be good stuff for the uh, pedometer on the watch. I should get 2,500, maybe 3,000 steps in this morning. <sighs> Probably a muffin this morning. Yeah. I thought I heard a partridge, the uh, jet of some sort. Humid. It's 60 degrees out, but I feel clammy with the uh, long sleeve shirt on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, get in bed. Ten people that go up to uh, someplace up in Canada and live from live by themselves 
until 9 out of the 10 tap out and uh, the final person wins $100,000 or something. And the guy yesterday had three snares out. The first two he trekked were empty. The third one had a rabbit in it. Good sized rabbit. Took it back, skinned it. Made rabbit stew. <clears throat> the other guy had uh, caught a beaver. Unfortunately, I think he got to Yardia. He had to tap out. So I think there's seven people left in the show. We've watched it for years. This year they allow them a bow and arrow. Each of them gets a bow and arrow. And I don't know whether it's five or eight arrows. But if they lose the arrows, that's it. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed that uh, one guy can shoot a squirrel up in a tree. The other guy is shooting partridge with a bow and arrow. I'll uh, stick to my 12 gauge, my 20 gauge shotgun. And we got what? July, August, September. We got three full months before the start of bird season, so got to make sure I got plenty of 20 gauge. And the shotgun's working. But that's it. Thanks for watching.